Kate and welcome to the Sally Tomato YouTube channel for today's tutorial. We're going to be making a quick, easy little pouch that's perfect for carrying all your essentials. A member of our Sally Tomato team, Jennifer Renke, designed this cute little pouch as an accessory really for her dog so that he could carry his own sanitary bags as they took all their long walks together. I'll take you through each step to make this neat little pouch. We'll attach a zipper, insert a grommet for dispensing, and add a swivel hook that clips either to a leash or a belt loop. The name of this little pouch is Buddy, directly inspired by Jen's own dog, Buddy, and also Jessica's favorite little dog, her Buddy. Be sure to purchase the pattern before beginning your project. The pattern and your supplies can be purchased from our website or request them at your local quilt shop. Before beginning, please review the recommended fabrics on the back of the pattern cover. We've also included a list of helpful notions and supplies there as well. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need a little extra time for a step, but also refer to your pattern instructions. They're laid out in easy to follow sections and have illustrations as well. So gather a few small pieces of fabric, a little bit of hardware, and I'll see you at the work table. This is the perfect little project for using small pieces of cork or full leather that are left from other projects. You'll need just one fabric. I'm also going to need a small piece of fusible interfacing and a little bit of foam. And then also have a short length of zippers. I'm using our number three zippers by the yard to keep the pouch as light as possible for Jen's dog, Buddy. You'll also need a grommet and a swivel hook. Then cut the pouch and connector pieces of the main fabric following your pattern and we can begin right away with attaching the zipper. Separate the zipper, removing the zipper pull from the zipper itself. With right sides together, position each half of the zipper tape along opposite short ends of the main piece A, that's the pouch piece. Sew each zipper tape in place, stitching near the zipper teeth along the raw edges of piece A. And be sure to refer to your pattern for the recommended seam allowances and stitch lengths. Then we're going to press piece A away from the zipper tapes and top stitch right along that seam edge on both sides. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for fusing the interfacing and installing the grommet. On the right side and wrong side, mark a grommet placement centered and down from the top edge of the zipper coil. If you're using a larger grommet, you may need to adjust your placement a little closer to the top zipper edge. On the wrong side of the grommet placement, center and fuse or glue a square of interfacing. And if you're pressing, press carefully using a low heat and a press cloth, or like I'm using a piece of tissue paper will work as well to protect the wrong side of the main fabric. Install the grommet following the manufacturer's instructions, but also visit our YouTube channel to watch Jess's video tutorial on installing this hardware. We recommend adding the small square of foam to the wrong side of your main piece, that's piece A, over the interfacing to help support the grommet properly. All right, we're ready to move on to the connector. Fold the long edges of the connector piece, wrong sides together, towards the center, and then top stitch in from the folded edge, just like I've done here. Now thread the connector through the swivel hook and then fold the connector in half, matching the raw ends. Hold the ends together with a sewing clip. Now this is optional, but if you'd like, top stitch near the swivel hook using a zipper foot or a narrow foot. Position the connector just below the zipper tape with right sides together and along one side. The swivel hook should be towards the center of the pouch. Allow the connector end to extend beyond the side of the main piece A and then baste in place through all the layers. Okay, it's time to reassemble the zipper. Traditionally, with right sides together and the edges aligned, attach the zipper pull onto the zipper to form a tube. I'm actually going to use the Gypsy Quilter Zipper Jig, which makes adding the zipper pull a dream, but I'll need my little pouch to be wrong side out yet. And you can watch a more detailed video tutorial on our YouTube channel. 
slide the zipper pull off, closing all the teeth. Yes, I, I need you to trust me on this one. It'll turn out just fine. Then add the pull once more, keeping it in the middle of the zipper length. This way the zipper teeth are closed at both ends for the next step. Right now your pouch you'll want to have wrong sides out and then open the zipper about halfway and we're going to fold the pouch tube flat with a little bit of the wrong side of the main piece A visible above the zipper and then you can use wonder clips or sewing clips to hold the raw edges together. All right now you're going to sew along each side and remember to backstitch at the top fold. I'm also going to backstitch over the zipper area just for a little reinforcement but then if you remember add a little more backstitching before you reach the end of the seam at the bottom fold. This will help secure the seam ends in our next step. And remember to trim your zipper ends just about even with the pouch sides. And then I'm going to measure and mark just in from the bottom corner from the stitching of the side seam and up from the fold just to form our boxed corners. So you'll have this little square shape. Now cut out the corners following the marked lines. Also mark the center bottom of the folded edge and if you need to reinforce the end of those seams by the cutouts with a little back stitching and then with right sides together at each corner match the side seam with the center bottom marks. Now we're going to sew together along those aligned raw edges to form the box corners. Make sure to back stitch at the beginning and end of each seam. Now turn the pouch right side out through the zipper opening and if you need to use a turning tool or stiletto to gently shape the corners. Now you're ready to insert the, a small roll of bags to dispense through the grommet. Or use your pouch for facial tissue. The dispenser works the same way or skip the grommet entirely and you can use your little pouch for key fob, hand sanitizer, a few coins. You'll be ready for any adventure. I hope you learned a new tip or technique today or just got inspired to use some of those great smaller little pieces of fabric. If you enjoyed this mini pattern, join our monthly mini club for only $5 a month and receive a new mini pattern in your mailbox or inbox each month. These mini patterns are designed for all skill levels and are intended to be a quick sew project. Most patterns will include a video tutorial on our YouTube channel. We'd love to see your completed project, so please share a photo using hashtag Sally Tomato or hashtag Buddy Pouch Pattern. Thank you so much for sewing with me today, and thank you, Jen and Buddy, for this great design. I hope you have a great sewing day, but I think it's time we all got up and took a little walk. So I'll see you again next time.